Hey what is up guys, welcome back to Predatory Exotics. Now today we are currently standing in front of London London ZSL Zoo. Uh, can't wait, as you saw last week, you saw the reptile house, which is a totally different video. This week we're gonna show you around the rest of the zoo, all the safari animals, everything in between. Stuff that you don't necessarily usually see on our channel, you usually see the reptiles and stuff like that. But this time we're gonna go through everything else. So this is just gonna be more of a behind the scenes of everything else we did at the zoo, other than the reptile house. So we hope you guys enjoy. So without further ado, let's look at some more animals. Alright, so basically, we're going to try and get a bird to come as close as we can. Well, right now we're in the pavilion, alright? Uh, and of course we're wearing our masks, get a predatory exotics uh, merch. As you can see, that's the other one, and we've got this one. Um, so yeah, let's head in.
This is another species of the Testudo. We've got the Testudo Greco at home. This is the Testudo, I don't know how to pronounce it. It's an Egyptian tortoise. And these are a critically endangered species, so it's good work that they're preserving them here at ZSL for us. Um, so it doesn't seem like any of the lines are out and sadly I, I'm guessing due to Covid they've closed off the actual yeah, area. There, there is a nice little line walk that goes around, you can see it up at the top there. Uh, but it doesn't seem like they're having it in, maybe too, maybe too close of a space. Uh, these are the Asiatic lines, we're going to see the, the African lines a bit later as well across the road. So. Alright, so we wanted to give you guys just a bit of like a rundown of what this video is actually about. Um, not only are we wanting to show you guys the zoo, so it's obviously, you can tell already, it's very quiet here. Uh, it's a Tuesday, there's not a lot of people around, there's a Covid thing as well. So it's nice and quiet so we can get all this footage for you, but unfortunately some of the bits are closed, so we're just going to tell you what it's like as we see it. Alright, time to go see more of the zoo. Alright, so we've got an actual area where we can go up, uh, unlike the lion one. I believe this is to the monkeys. Yeah, so we're still in the uh, National Park themed area. So the Langa monkeys are from India, so hopefully we get to see these. Keep hold of your tools. So these are the ones you see in India, I mean around the temples and stuff, and they're known for when tourists come, they'll steal stuff off the tourists. Uh, and we're just about to come around and see them. Whoa! We actually found them. We found them. They, uh, they took a little while to walk around, but we've actually found them. You can 
sit on male, on male and shout at her because three females. That's He's bored. So one thing that we seem to have noticed is that we do like the themes really well. As you can see behind us, we've got kind of like what seems to be like a um, kind of foreign market, which looks pretty yeah, similar. Yeah, all the Turks, all the like, merch. It's, it's really realistic. Oh, the amount like the of train like, station, all the yeah, props and stuff that they have, uh, I think is actually really cool. And especially if you're into all that kind of history, it adds to it. It's a great place to uh, go and check out. Oh, taking a quick break. It is a hot, hot day out here right now. Um, but uh, it's fun. Like, so far, we're having a great time. But God, I haven't seen what a quarter of the zoo. Yeah, like, it's, it's two o'clock. It closes at five. So we've still got a couple more hours. Um, but we've only been here for like a couple of hours. Yeah. Um, but yeah, it is. Uh, it is hot. We are sweating and feeling this heat. Uh, but probably one of the best days that we could have chosen, especially September time. Yeah. And we've got this kind of weather, uh, so we're kind of lucky on that aspect. It's nice and quiet as well, and there's no, like, obviously they're letting a limit of people in, um, but we booked last week and it wasn't full, so yeah, I imagine so. they can still take some more people. But yeah, just keep make sure we're keeping hydrated and staying in the shade because we don't want to overheat, especially out here. Which hopefully the footage has come out all right uh, with a bit of background noise, so... If not, I'll, I'll throw in like subtitles <laughs> if you can't hear what we're saying at certain points. Um, it's a new experience though, like it's, uh, we haven't done a zoo before. Yeah, hopefully we can do some more. Because we've got quite a few zoos in England um, that we ha can have the chance to visit. Because there's, there's two zoos to this part. You've got the, the Regent's Park one, which is in central London. And then there's one on the outskirts, which is uh, the Whipsnade Zoo have a lot, a lot bigger enclosures for some of their elephants and stuff like that. Yeah, so they differ in some animals, which would be cool. Um, but yeah, hopefully we're going to try and make some kind of series for you guys uh, about visiting around the zoos, uh, showing you what they're like, especially during the COVID. Um, but as far as it's been a great day out, so. So we're here in front of the bug pit at London Zoo. Don't know what this is like. I don't know if I've been to this bit before. When I came no, actually, time. I don't think I've been to this part uh, before. Uh, so we're going to see, um, looks like there's scorpions and stuff, there's, there's a frog, but I don't know if that's going to be in the reptile house, so. so okay. I so believe it is like a walkthrough zone, um, which means we're going to have to wear our mask. I think we've just got to find the entrance now. <laughs> As you can see, it's bigger than uh, we actually expected, so of course, masks on, we're heading in. Oh my god, it's that! I thought that was a. This one looks like you can see the females a lot thicker than the males. This one there. Isn't the it? males are the skinny ones. 
That's crazy. Oh, are these ones that paralyze things? Yes. And then lay their eggs? They sting, they sting the prey and lay the eggs inside it. Um, and then the larvae will actually eat the insect from the inside out, which is pretty gross, but nature does what it does. So it looks like they're going to be soon opening some kind of uh, coral exhibit uh, or of the sea life, I guess. Oh, my it looks part. like we're getting into the spider enclosure of the bug exhibit. So we've got the man himself, the world's largest scorpion. As you can see, he is hiding just back there. Hopefully, the camera picks it up just enough for you guys. Very glad that you can now, sadly, it looks like you won't be able to see one of my personal favorite in all of the things that are at the zoo, actually, is the whip scorpion. Now, of course, we are gonna be looking into buying one of these soon, but he most likely is hiding behind this cork bark uh, and isn't really gonna show himself. Fan of that one. I'm too still, tall as well, I could walk into any of them, so still pretty cool to see. So that was the insect exhibit here at the London Zoo. Uh, pretty cool in all in all, we saw loads of stuff. And uh, I think it was a cool thing that we got to actually walk in there with the spiders. Some people didn't yeah, appreciate it as much. But now it's time to go and check out the rest of the zoo. Alright, so another indoor enclosure. I feel this is one of the best parts of London Zoo is that they have so many things that you can go indoors even without us being able to go into the monkeys uh, and like on top of the lions and stuff. But they've still got tons open. And this one, the butterfly one. One of my personal favourites actually. Uh, so once again, mask on. Let's head in. One of my favourite ones.
time to go look at some penguins. Smells like fish. Mate, that's massive. 40 million years ago. Dude's taller than me. But that's actually how big an emperor penguin is. Yeah, and there used to be this. There used to be a mega penguin. So guys, we just finished the orange route, so we've done this sort of half of the map. So we've got two more routes to do, the blue and the pink route. We're going to do the blue one next, all this stuff. So it's got, as you can see, the main part of why we are excited to come here, the reptile house. If you haven't already checked out, we've released a first video of the reptile house uh, before this one's actually come out. So that will be in the link below, and that basically is part two. Giraffes inside, hey! Hey Tom, it's home sweet home. As we can see, the only animal once again, family. we've got. Once the... again, we found an animal. <laughs> <No>. <laughs> anyway, we're heading into another enclosure, so masks on, and this is time for the giraffes. Giraffe! We found them, they're outside. Hey, Another walkthrough area, masks on. Alright, time to spot them. I'm guessing they're where oh. everyone is. Oh my god. You can get up close and past them. So a lot of this is closed, but this is the kind of stuff that they have inside the enclosure. As you can see, it is closed. The camera picks it up, but it's got some pretty cool stuff. This would be a nice walkthrough, but I guess with the whole COVID regulations, they're not wanting us to head in there. So we're just going into the walkthrough right there. Literally just walked oh in there. Oh my god! And it is boiling. It's humid and boiling. I'm sweating already.
That is hot. I am dripping in sweat. Really cool enclosure. We actually got to see the sloth. But my word, it is a, <laughs> it's a bit sweaty in there. Nothing. So we hope you enjoyed this second part to our London Zoo tour. Um, you join us here at Penguin Beach, the last stop on the orange route. We've done all the routes, seen as much as we can. You see some of the enclosures, they're really well done so you don't see the animals sometimes. But that's great because you at least know the animals are nice and happy. Yeah, oh. we hope that, <laughs> interrupting our outro, we hope that you guys have enjoyed and that we were actually able to get all the footage that we could get. You know, like I said, if some parts don't pick up our audio, I'll try and put the subtitles on. And hopefully the camera in some of the dark areas also picked up the footage as well. But from both of us at Predator Exotics, we hope you have enjoyed. So don't forget to leave like, comment and subscribe. We'll see you next Friday. Bye guys. Hey, we're at London Zoo, we've got our own show right now, as you can see, the crowd is full, as you can see behind you. We're laughing at Dr. Lacto. This is what we want to do one day, that's it, not now, but this is the dream, pretty much, us to do this for you guys. Um, yeah, we're going to get out of here.